Giants fans, this is why you subscribe. So before we get into today's trade video, I want you to take two seconds, look underneath the video, and click that big red button to stay up to date on everything going on around the New York Giants. We have some breaking news. The New York Giants have traded B.J. Hill for Billy Price. So you see a deal here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Giants. Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports. We're going to be here to break everything down for you, give you the full details, and I'm actually going to tell you who I think won this deal. So B.J. Hill, he is on his way to Cincinnati. The biggest reason why this makes some sense for both sides, you are able to help both teams here because Hill, good interior defensive lineman, gives the Bengals a little bit more depth and then in terms of Billy Price he's been mentioned in multiple trade talks for the Bengals simply because they're likely to get ready to get back one of their starters but Hill last season he had 32 tackles a sack two tackles for loss really lost out on some playing time since Leonard Williams has you know been back since 2019 if you will and been a one of the best defensive linemen in the entire league in terms of Billy Price he is on his way to New York Never really worked out. I mean, he was a first-round draft pick out of Ohio State. Never quite was able to pan out his career. Maybe a new change of scenery. Maybe some new coaches thrown in there. We'll have a different uh, outlook overall. But the Giants have been looking for an interior offensive line depth, whether that's at the center position, whether that's at guard. I don't think that Price is going to be a starter. But if some of these other players like Hernandez continue to struggle, you might see something a little bit different. So here's the trade details. The Cincinnati. Bengals they get B.J. Hill the New York Giants they get Billy Price now if this is maybe the first time you've come across one of our videos here at chat sports not only do we break down the latest news and rumors trades and stuff like this but we're also interactive so I want every single one of y'all to go down in the comments section and let me know who won this trade if you believe the Cincinnati Bengals won this deal I want you to type C-I-N. If you believe the G-Men went ahead and won this deal, I want you to go ahead and type N-Y-G. I'm actually going to go here and say that the Bengals won this deal, and it sure, it does help out both sides in some way or another, but when you really tell me, okay, it's B.J. Hill for Billy Price straight up, I'm sorry, Hill is the better player to me. Now, I get it. You are helping that interior offensive line, but if you want to talk about a price that has not been right, it's been Billy since he has come into the NFL in 2018. A 55.6 overall grade. These are, uh, you know, PFF grades, if you will. A 66 pass grade. A 57.3 run blocking grade. Not great. But what about the last two years? 41.9 overall. 26.1. Imagine coming home to your mom, to your dad, and showing them a grade with a 26.1. My dad would tell me, get the hell out in the backyard and start cutting grass. 54.1 with a run grade. A 29 again in 2020. I mean, I'm sorry. Billy Price is not that good of a player. Sure, he's been having a good training camp. Good reports coming out. But I don't really give a shit about training camp. I care about when it actually comes to playing football games. And from what I've seen from Billy Price, it ain't that good looking. And then you got B.J. Hill. So usually the host here on our show is Marshall. And I know he's probably going to be upset. I think he's actually in Las Vegas right now sipping a pina colada or something. And when he sees this trade go down, he's going to be like, really? This is what we ended up doing? Because Hill was actually one of these players that I do think offers some just good extra depth on your defensive line. Now, sure, Gettleman loves himself uh, some defensive linemen, so this might you know really pain him a little bit. But last year, a 73.4 overall grade according to the PFF, a 73.0 run grade, 69, really nice pass rush grade. But over the last three seasons as well, from a stat standpoint, in 2018 as a rookie, five and a half sacks, 48 tackles, six tackles for a loss. As far as I'm concerned, sure, the numbers have dipped down a little bit. That's just more of a Leonard Williams getting a lot more of the lion's share of the snaps. But I have seen one player who went on the field. I've been like, okay, that's actually a halfway decent football player. The other guy, Billy Price, I'm like, well, that's he's best case scenario, a depth player. So here again are the trade details. The Bengals, they get B.J. Hill. The New York Giants, they get Billy Price. 
Now, if you guys are diehard Giants fans, what I want you to do is simply subscribe. If you have already subbed, well, shout out to y'all. Take the link that you see below, youtube.com slash New York Giants TV, and start sending it to some of your friends. Hell, I might send this to some of my family members who grew up a big-time Giant fan. So the more subs we get here on this channel, the more people we get interacting in the comments, the more videos we could do. So if you want more videos around your favorite team, then go ahead and subscribe. So B.J. Hill again here. He is on his way to the Cincinnati Bengals. They're going to be able to get some more interior depth. When you really talk about some of the losses that Cincy has had over even like the last like year and a half, two years, no, obviously no more Carlos Dunlap. Geno Atkins is a player still out there on the free agent market, and maybe there's some sort of connection there where they need some extra interior guys. And then for Bryce, last season played in five games, sure allowed only one sack. The 26-year-old has always had this well, say high upside, right? Anytime you're drafted in the first round, people are always going to sit there and say, well, when he was coming out of college, he could have been this. Or, hey, when he was at Ohio State, he could have went ahead and did this. Sometimes players, though, they just don't adjust very well to the NFL, and that thus far has been an issue for Price. So earlier on, I asked you, hey, who do you think won this deal? And I said that I believe the Cincinnati Bengals won this deal. Well, now you guys can be the judge. But, uh, tss. And I want you to grade the trade, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know down in the comments. And any time that you're going to let me know how you feel, I want you to go above and beyond. Take that extra step and give me the reason why you gave it an A grade. Tell me why you gave it a B or a C, a D or an F. The reason why I'm going to go ahead and give this trade a D is simply because I believe that they lost the deal. They gave up a better player. Sure, you're able to insert price onto that interior line so whether it's Lemieux continues to struggle maybe Gates continues to struggle Hernandez obviously that's never the plan but you need to be able to bolster that interior offensive line if you want to protect Daniel Jones if you actually want to have a halfway decent chance of being able to run the football maybe it's Devontae Booker early on or maybe it's somebody like Saquon Barkley later but this offense has a lot of skilled position players around it but it, none of that matters if you can't block and probably the biggest issue right now for this New York Giants team in the preseason and training camp is why the hell can't anybody block for some of our skill position players and then on the defensive line side you got Leonard Williams Johnson Lawrence as well I actually think one of the biggest reasons why they also decided to move on from B.J. Hill is because Shelton, Shelton's been out playing him and if they really want to be able to work with a more four heavy defensive tackle, nose tackle rotation, that could be one of the bigger reasons. So a Billy Price headed to New York. We're breaking all of that stuff down for you. You see that thing below? It says turn on the notifications. Make sure you go ahead and do that. That way you guys never miss anything. So whether it's a certain move that happens or whether there's more news, I don't want you guys to miss it. Another reason why the Bengals, I think, really moved on from Price here is because of Trey Hopkins. He's going to be their starting center. He played in 15 games last season for the Bengals, and he's still recovering from an ACL injury. It sounds like he's going to be ready to go for week one. And with that being said, they're move on from Price, and they upgrade a little bit on the defensive line. So what? one more question, and then I'll get out of y'all's hair. What's your one-word reaction to this deal? Go down in the comments again and let me know. The New York Giants, they go ahead and get Billy Price. The Cincinnati Bengals, they they get B.J. Hill. Because it's B.J. Hill, I'm just going to go ahead and say my one word reaction is blows because I think that Billy Price kind of blows. When you give up B.J. Hill, hey, these kind of things, they just work out themselves. If you made it this far in the video and you disagree with anything that I said today, you can always find me on IG or Twitter at MitchellRens365.